Did you take care of the tufts? <laughs> yeah, the tufts. tufts. I blew it off from the other guy's yard. Good, because he's a jerk. I had a customer email me just so we were pulling up here, and it's we do three in a row. One that's a couple houses down, and then we do this one right here, and that one right there. Those two have huge backyards, and she came out. I know. Oh, Miss Lila. I, was, I, I was knew she was gonna. There. I was mowing down there and I saw her walking around her front yard and I saw her start going to the back. I'm like, oh yeah, um, she's gonna get him. Yeah. She's gonna get him. She did what she always does. She came in the back and just walked right in front of him. I'm mowing straight. She comes walking right in front of it with her hood pulled off and her jacket. I was like, I'm so glad I go down the road to mow this one. Let her do her little talking she's like, and then I come down the road. Do you think it needs cut? I'm like, yep. Yeah. She's like, that's what she does every year. He's like, do you think, yep. Are you sure? Yep. How do you look at it? Yep. She's like, well, maybe we should skip this week. I go, if we're going to go to bi-weekly, I go, like, every last couple years, you keep coming out every week. I haven't owned that place for years, but the last couple years, I'm like, you come out every week, and you, uh, you ask me, do you think it needs cut? I'm like, if we're gonna go to bi-weekly, we're gonna start skipping weeks. I said, you're gonna have to find somebody else. I don't, I don't do bi-weekly cutting. You just, you're gonna have to find someone else. And she's like, no, 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 I don't wanna do that. I don't want, I'm like, okay. She goes, I just, I'm concerned that your mower will go through it. Her lawn was like four inches tall. And I'm like, yeah, I go, these mowers are very expensive. They're more than capable of going through it. I go, as you know, it was a steady drizzle is what it was. And then it stopped. It's been doing that on and off on us all day. I said, as you know, we do not mow in the rain. Like, steady rain, regular rain, we don't mow. If it's a light drizzle like this, then we keep going. We, we're way too busy to stop because of that. We'll never get caught up. But um, I was like, yeah, we do, we're, it's fine. I go, we've mowed your lawn plenty of times. Okay, okay. Are you going to send uh, Are you gonna send the other guy around to, uh, to do the landscape and to clean up the flower beds and weed them out and all that kind of stuff? I go, yep, he'll be around. I, I said we're pretty. Yep. Yeah, I said she goes good. She goes. What's Scott text me? Can you please mow th one three six six Swan Road for me? I don't know what that is. No, oh, apparently Paul texts me. Do you do stump grinding? No, but I have a guy I send it all to. With all the, can you cut a little shorter with all this? Sure. Oh, not a problem. They always ask, can you cut it shorter? Yeah, absolutely. 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 You know, we usually cut the same height and then they come height. out and they're like, it looks great. It looks fit. You guys did a great job. That That's the height I want. Okay, you got it. <laughs> All the time. Whoa. Damn, male lady. I know. She almost freaking endowed it right there and... Oh, she's walking right, around. We gotta go, Mo.
of the dust. This truck is absolutely disgusting. And it rained all afternoon yesterday, all last night. And it's still raining now. And it's not gonna stop at all today. So, I am going to go to the shop. I left Billy sleeping. I'm gonna go to the shop and have a shop day, get all the equipment maintenance, cause it needs done bad. And there's a lot of stuff in the shop that needs just cleaned up. And this truck needs thoroughly cleaned because it's disgusting. And I don't, ugh, I don't like dirty trucks. But since I still haven't found a bed for the dually yet, I think I found one. Uh, we've been using this truck every day for the mowing. So it's a mess. But I couldn't sit around my house this morning because I'm in a very foul mood this morning. And I don't want to take it out on anybody else. It's one of them situations where it is what it is and it sucks and there's nothing you can do about it, but you kind of just got to suck it up and get through it. But it doesn't mean I don't hate it. So, truck's in here. Dirty as heck. I took these off a while ago, but I still have this goopy, gummy stuff on there. But, like two weeks ago, I bought a thing of Goo Gone to put on there and get that off and I just never did it because no time. And here's the trailer, with all these mowers. But this place is a friggin' mess. So I need to clean up and reorganize in here. First off my bench, you can't even see it. There's so much crap there, parts, tools, everything. Same thing with this one over here. Billy's dirt bike still tore apart and it only gets better from there so this is a mess over here i have cases of two-stroke oil premix oil i mean stuff just needs put away a lot of this stuff here that doesn't get used every day needs can well reduced we'll say reduced everything put back in this corner this stuff needs pushed back and just off to the sides i can actually back the trailer all the way in and then maintenance that I got a lot to do today. Well, lettering's off the truck. There's a little bit of line there that I have to get off still. But all the gooey stuff came off. Inside of the truck, not that you can probably see it, but it's clean, vacuumed out, all the garbage out of it. Up here, I got stuff laying around all over the place that has to go back in its spots. But everything's vacuumed out, it's clean. The dash is all clean again, all my gauges. All my, you know what the trick to these are when you get them filled with dust? Get yourself these. You can get a pack of five of them for like six bucks on Amazon, all different sizes. And you just hold the shop back up to it and go like this through them. And all the dust and dirt and everything comes out. And the vacuum sucks it right up. Sometimes you don't even need the vacuum, just dust it. But you can get in these like little grooves through here. You can go like that and get all that stuff out where when you're wiping it with a rag, it doesn't come out. You can get down in there, all them grooves right along the edges. You can get around all the gauges, stuff that, because all these gauges have little notches on them and wiping a rag doesn't get the stuff out. So you can go like that. You can get inside there to all these controls, everything. Get in the groove so this glove box opens two ways. Like that and again like that. So it opens multiple ways but you can get in all them spots, all these little grooves like down in there. You can get all that crap out of there. All that dust, dirt, grime, grass, everything else that blows in there. I can't stand having dirty vehicles, even work trucks. I know some of you will be like, it's a work truck, what do you care? I care, I don't like dirty, nasty crap. So I like to keep my stuff clean. This truck isn't usually used as a full-time mow truck, so it never gets this dirty, but it is now. Well, it was, and now it's clean. Here's something that's slightly odd. Well, to me it is. So I was just texting back and forth with a new customer and he had told me that he has a 
fire pit and a dog post and lead in the backyard just wants to let me know give me a heads up and i was like okay so well, now that i know you have a dog i said our only requirement is you have to have the dog poo picked up before your day of service which his day will be wednesdays and he said okay no problem he said we have a service that comes and does it for us every week on mondays or tuesdays at the latest okay I'm like, perfect. I didn't even know that was a thing. Apparently there's a service. You can hire them and they will come and pick up all your dog shit once a week or however often you want them to do it, I guess. And people pay for this and people do this. <laughs> okay. Is that a thing in your area? Put it in the comments. I'm kind of curious on... Uh, how common this is like is this a normal thing i've never heard of it before i don't know i've had customers ask me if they can pay extra if i'll pick up their dog poop each week and i told them absolutely not i do not do that um i don't have time for it for one thing and i'm just not gonna do it but i don't know is that a common thing in your area put it in the comments No, it's still recording. Timer's counting. Recording you. Man. Yeah, I was just in full on go mode, man. I was making a hat and the truck's getting dirty again already. So, whew, I caught my hair last night. It's a party. Um, so, hey man, where can I dump? Anywhere you want in the woods. Um, I went down, I left Billy at the first one. I took the 72, the backpack blower and a trimmer. I had it way down the street, a couple blocks down that way and I hit the one we got down there. I came back, he was still on that one, which it's a lot bigger um, and a lot taller. And so then I stopped the truck, grabbed a sip of the water and then I flew down the street and trimmed out another big one, jumped back on the mower come down here further figure when billy got done with the one he's on he'll stop and mow that one and blow it off then i come down here to this one trim this one it's hot turn the freaking heat off um i come down here trim this one mowed the whole thing and then blew it off and there was a couple areas i had to hit with the backpack floor i think it's gonna be like that for a bunch of them today five four okay so we are caught up on tuesday's list mm. Grass. Come on, smell it. You know what's funny? It says that I saw a meme that said that's the difference between men and women when a guy says, Hey, smell this. It's usually not a good fragrance. Uh -huh. <laughs> and with women, it's something that smells like sweet and nice. Okay, so today is the fourth. And oh, whatever yeah. the smell is, we want them to smell. It smells like a horse stall. Yeah. We're making it happen. We have a new one to do today, um, and it, it's pretty overgrown. Um, well, it's a new one on our Wednesday list, but he's not getting, these yards are still very wet. Ah. Billy, give me Samo, or give me one of those wraps I made. Um, so, yeah, he's he might get done later today, or it might just be a tomorrow thing because it's 
there's no way we're messing with it while it's wet. Not gonna happen. But yeah, it's cloudy, but we're not supposed to have any rain today. None tomorrow, none Saturday, none Sunday, none Monday, and none Tuesday. It's a lot of nuns. Um, but now they say that, as of this morning, now they're saying now we might get rain on Tuesday. But either way, I don't care. It'll get us through the rest of the week. Got my brother weeding out all the apartment complexes. Um, and then next week we'll start mulching them at the beginning of the week. I wanted to mulch them this weekend, but there's no way. Got behind with the rain, so is what it is so yeah buddy I'm hungry I'm starving Billy that was like three lawns ago I'm like I need food mm -hmm. Billy ah. I was like, screw it. I'm not stopping for food. You gotta keep moving. I knew we'd have a three minute drive to the next one after we got that block of them done. All right, well, today is Thursday and in the realm of things, the way we've been doing it with these long extended videos, looks like you're getting another one. Cause I know there's a bunch of stuff before this point. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, but so. Billy, can I get no oh, yeah? Oh yeah, but so. Uh oh. What? That's the church. Oh. I believe you guys did our mulch last year. Would you? That's all it shows so far on my phone. I know where that's going. You said, oh no, I thought it was my mother texted me. I'm like, ah, oh, what did I do now? No. But it usually starts off with, do you know what your son did? Because you're always mine when you do something bad. Apparently. But when you do something good. She's always like, guess what Guess what Bear did today? Or, I love Bear so much, you won't believe the text he sent me or whatever. But when it starts off with, guess what your son did. How many did? times I bring her flowers? Guess what your son did. That's usually how that goes, Cheech. Get out of the way, squirrel. All right, we'll be back. No. I look back over here, I'm like, that wasn't cut. No, I didn't. I didn't forget. It. I was like, oh, I'll just have him cut it since I got a weed whack that. Down to it. These garbage men are falling on some of the village today. I know. You must like them. Uh oh. Dropped your bush on the ground. Oh, did I? Yeah. Did I? I'm just loving my. Yeah, that inch worm on the hood is uh, it's gonna be moving about 60 mile an hour after we're done with this lawn. The truck won't even do 60 mile an hour. What? I've tried it. I no, you haven't. <laughs> this truck's faster than your truck. Faster than my truck. Yeah. There's a racetrack not too far from here, so... Uh, oh, I'm well aware. Guess what tomorrow is? It's race, race day! day. <laughs> I can't wait. Opening day at the racetrack is going to be sweet. We're taking a little break. We've been busting them out. Hammer them down. We got this one here and three more. And our Wednesday list is done. Now we start breaking into the Thursday list. But we're sitting here taking a break with my Mean Bean Java Monster. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah? 
I had to eat some snacks. Cut up apples from scrolling Facebook. I'm scrolling Facebook. <laughs> I am. My Paula, my friend Paula posted this thing and said, I tried donating blood today. Never again. Too many stupid questions. Whose blood is it? Where did you get it from? Why is it in a bucket? <laughs> She's so dumb. Oh, here's a good one she posted. Find a girl that's bad. Find a girl that's bad enough to get everyone's attention, but loyal enough only to you. <laughs> <laughs> that's an oxymoron. Without a doubt. I met some bad girls in my day, that's for sure. <laughs> but during, hey, none of them have, uh, have only one man. They always have side ones. Some of them, some are better at covering it up, but it always comes out in the end. The worst feeling is when oh. you don't know if you should continue or give up. It's not a feeling, freak. You never give up. Bailey, put the window <laughs> down. He's got me like three times already this morning. It's like getting smashed in the face with a brick. <laughs> You're friggin' nasty. Uh, just gotta lift the butt a little bit. Yeah, moving around in the truck. I don't want to smell it. You're freaking disgusting. Knock it off! You're so nasty. What is wrong with you? Where are your parents? I don't know. They ran away. You're going back to the adoption agency. Fine. They won't take you back. They're sick of doing the paperwork. You've been returned like four times. I'm the only one that's been dumb enough to keep you. <laughs> You spit that out in my truck, Billy. Hmm. Oh, whatever you're choking on there. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll always keep you, Billy. You drive this me. This is the sixth time this month, man. <laughs> <laughs> you drive me crazy, and you're the reason for all these gray hairs. But I'll choose your dumb ass every time. You better. Well, what? you're gonna get to work for you. Not <laughs> your dumb ass. <laughs> I'm gonna cut you, Billy. I'm gonna cut, cut you. Cut that today. one off the video. I'm gonna cut you today, son. <laughs> I should have named you Sue. The what? Like the Johnny Cash song, a boy named Sue. <laughs> I should have named you Sue. <laughs> oh, this is me right here. My obituary will probably say he knew better, but he did it anyway. Mm hmm. Yep. That's me, right there. Stay far. Okay, we need it. Wait, this is back. Dang, God, <laughs> nab it. Dang, nab it. All right, we need to. We need to get back to mowing. Break time's over, Billy. Go mow. Let me know. Oh, look at this old man walking up the road. All right, this is kind of messed up, but um, this old man's walking down the road with this. Big shaggy dog, and they look the same age. <laughs> it's a really cool looking dog. Can you see him? I'm not really sure who's walking who at this point. <laughs> what? God bless him. That dog will stay loyal to him till he's dead. I hope when I'm his age, I have a dog. Look at he stops. The dog turns, turns around, sits down right at his feet. I don't know if y'all can see this. That's what I'm talking about. You'll never find a woman that loyal. Never. <laughs> I can't. Well, I can't find one to be loyal for 30 days, much less a lifetime. Look at that. That's how my dog is. Don't Facts. listen to me. I want a dog like that. You sit there. Chill with you, man. It's got your back till the day you die. Look, old man starts walking, dog jumps right up. There he goes, shakes his head off, starts walking again. Granted, the old man now has the rope wrapped around the dog's <laughs> two leg. front legs. Dog's gonna go down. <laughs> All right, we got shit to do. So it's eight o'clock and we just finished the last two. Ours and the house right next to mine. We, we have that account too. So we just finished them up. Billy's like, I'm bringing my truck to the shop. And he goes, because you're probably going home, right? And I said, yeah. 
He goes, I want to pressure wash my four wheeler. I said, all right. But I just passed this little mini bike thing, like little mini pit bike thing sitting on the side of the road. And I could have swore I saw Billy pull over. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, you watch, Billy's gonna pull over. I think they're throwing it out or something. I was like, Billy's gonna pull over and snag that thing up. And I'm pretty sure that he stopped. We'll find out when he gets here. But I have a feeling that Billy stopped and grabbed mm -hmm. that thing. Well, that's gonna be funny. If I remember when I leave here, I'll show you guys the church that I was mowing last year that they said that they want to mow it themselves this year. I just went by it and they recently mowed it and it's bad. Like real bad. There's chunked up grass everywhere. Um, and there's a branch laying in part of the grass that instead of getting off the mower and moving it, they literally mowed a circle around it. I'm not even kidding. I swear to God. That grass memo. Um, I'll show you. If I remember when I leave here, I'll show you. But I gotta go open this shop now so I can back this trailer in there. Okay, I was wrong. Billy didn't pick that pit bike up. I'll show it to you here in a second. But he says he's going back to get it. He goes, I thought about it. as soon as I saw it, I couldn't believe you didn't stop and get it. I go, we don't need any more junk. But uh, I just left the shop. I have a tail light out. I found out last night my niece was behind me last night she told me I had a tail light out so I checked both bulbs are out it takes two bulbs in there and I only had one in my toolbox for that so I replaced it now I have to drive up to the falls to the parts store to get another bulb which sucks so I'm gonna get food while I'm up there Billy stayed at the shop to wash his four-wheeler and we just went through this sheet to see what we got. We got like 15 left to do on Thursday's list and all of Friday's list, but we'll get the rest of Thursday done tomorrow. We'll get part of Friday done and then Saturday, um, Max will be mowing with me and Billy to wrap it up. Plus we got a few cleanup properties to do. I'm gonna show you guys this, watch this. I don't know if you guys can see all the laying grass there. But right here, you're gonna see a stick. See that branch in that tall grass? That was the branch. The branch has been there for like two months and they just left it there and mowed around it. Pretty funny. Um, crap, I passed that pit bike. Um, but yeah, so, and then my brother went and weeded out and prepped all the flower beds at both of my two big apartment complexes today. He got it done like six and a half hours. He did both complexes. He's a machine freaking machine so now they're ready for mulch to start on monday um and we did billy and i did 37 lawn save 37 so knocking out all right i'm ending this right here i gotta go get this bulb i brought the screwdriver with me a star bit so i can change it right there in the parking lot so i don't get pulled over and um and then i'm gonna grab some food check this moon out that showing up in the camera can you guys see that I'm looking in the back of the camera and I don't see it I'm just, so I don't know if you guys can see it that's sweet I don't know if you can't see it it's sweet all right see you